When you're shooting sit-down interviews, probably the best choice of mic is going to be a lavalier. It gets you a good signal, it's close to the sound source, and it eliminates the need for a separate boom operator. There are a few important things to keep in mind when using lavaliers, as well as a few handy tips to help you in the field. We'll cover those off in the next couple of videos. So, what exactly is a lavalier mic? It's a small mic with a broad pickup pattern that can be placed on a talent's torso to accurately pick up their voice. Lavalier or lav mics typically include small clips for attaching to collars, ties, or other clothing. The cord can be hidden by clothes and either run to a radio frequency transmitter kept in a pocket or clipped to a belt or routed directly to the recording device. In theater, it's common practice to conceal a lavalier microphone in the hair or the wig of the performer. In film, they're usually hidden beneath clothing. While in another video we covered the essential nature of boom mics for on-set dialogue, it's not uncommon to use lavalier mics on the same set. They can be a suitable alternative to boom mics if they can be completely concealed from the camera and the talent doesn't have to perform any significant movement during the shot that might create vibration noise. We'll take a look at how to conceal the mic a little later. The biggest issue with mixing boom and lavalier mics is phasing issues. If the sound waves of a boom mic and lav mic are out of phase, the result can be a cancellation of the signals. This will result in a hollow sounding recording. The solution is to invert the phase of one of the signals. When multiple mics are used, Phasing can become a little more complicated, and you may need to take some time in post to make sure every mic in your mix matches phase. For interviews, you can clip the lav directly on the talent, attaching to a tie or lapel about mid-chest level and with the cord visible. For a cleaner look, the lav cord can be snaked inside the subject's shirt. If you don't mind seeing the mic in the shot, it's a great way to get a good sound and a fast setup. Lav mics should be placed fairly close to the subject's mouth, just above the sternum or breastbone. There's a natural temptation to slide lavs towards the navel, but the sound quality goes down rapidly as the lav moves further away from the mouth. For film, lavs are almost always hidden under clothing to conceal the fact that the person is miked. Unfortunately, the possibility of material scratching against the microphone arises. To minimize this, wrap the head of the microphone in moleskin or place it inside a hush lav. Then place it behind a button or within the knot of a tie. Moleskin is an extremely soft and pliable material used to eliminate abrasive fabrics coming in contact with a microphone. This material is most often used in the mounting of lav mics under clothing. Moleskin has a peelable sticky backing which makes for secure mounting but easy removal. Hush labs are a cylinder of foam that you put over the lav. It stops the material from hitting it and making scratching sounds. The transmitter pack which the microphones attach to may also need to be hidden under a person's clothing. Good areas to hide the pack would be high around the waist in the space created at the spine just above the belt line, inside the thigh under a skirt or dress, about the ankles over a pant leg, or even inside of a boot. Besides being used on talent, certain lavalier microphones are also handy for using as plant mics. A plant microphone is typically placed in a hidden spot on the set to pick up talent as a supplement to or instead of a boom microphone. So if you see a round table or dinner table set up, the sound mixer may be covering the scene with one or more plant microphones hidden in the centerpiece on the table. Plant microphones can also come into play when scenes are shot with a steady cam or large dolly moves where it may be impractical to have the boom operator try to follow the camera. Another instance could be that wardrobe restrictions make using body mounted lavaliers tough or impractical. A wired lav is the perfect solution for controlled circumstances. Indoors, fixed location shoots like a sit down interview or news set. Wired labs for the most part sound better than wireless labs and are also great backups on location if you have interference problems with the wireless versions. Wireless labs have a number of advantages and disadvantages. 
One of the advantages of a wireless microphone is the freedom of movement it affords the performer or speaker. You can also do away with cabling issues. For these reasons, wireless labs are ideal for reality television. The disadvantage of wireless labs are the limited range, interference from radio equipment, and reliance on battery power.